The Victorian era was a time of strict social etiquette and peculiar beach customs, as evidenced by the unusual contraption known as the bathing machine. These wooden carts, often with canvas walls and windows, were a common sight on the beaches of Britain, the United States, and other parts of the British Empire during the 18th and 19th centuries. Initially appearing in Devon around 1735 and later in Margate in 1750, the bathing machines quickly became a staple of seaside culture. They were primarily used by women, who were expected to maintain the strictest levels of modesty while enjoying the benefits of sea bathing. In fact, women and men were often segregated on the beaches, and bathing suits were not considered appropriate attire for public viewing. The bathing machines served as changing rooms, allowing beachgoers to discreetly change into their bathing suits before being rolled into the water by a horse or a steam-powered engine. Once in the water, they could enjoy a quick dip without being seen by others. The entire process often involved waiting in line, reading newspapers, or engaging in conversation with other beach visitors. Swimming was not a popular activity at the time, and people mostly spent their time sitting in the water for health benefits. The use of dippers, employed to assist clients in and out of the water, added to the peculiar beach experience. The bathing machines also proved to be lucrative businesses for those living near the ocean, as they brought in high earnings for those who were savvy enough to capitalize on the trend. By the early 20th century, bathing customs began to change, and the need for bathing machines diminished. Beaches stopped segregating by sex, and bathing suits became more common. The strict rules of modesty began to loosen, and bathing machines were no longer necessary for maintaining privacy. They eventually disappeared from British beaches by 1914, although some survived in other parts of the world as bathing boxes. The bathing machine may seem like a bizarre relic of the past, but it offers a fascinating glimpse into the social norms and customs of the Victorian era. It was a time when modesty was paramount, and even a day at the beach required adherence to strict rules and etiquette. The bathing machine may have faded into history, but its legacy lives on as a reminder of a bygone era.